so for no other reason than because it's funny, um, I want to play a video. This is uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the uh, press secretary, Trump's press secretary, laid, <laughs> oh, laid into uh, Chucky, Chucky, Ch Wall Street, Chuck Schumer uh, from New York, senator from New York. And uh, it's just, I mean, it's just, this is, I mean, again, Trump, if Trump is remembered for anything, it's this kind of uh, uh, tone, right? Who the fuck is Chuck Schumer? Chuck Schumer is a, is a salesman. Chuck Schumer is a, is not, he, he hasn't, these guys portray themselves as people who know or presume to know what is in the best interest of the people. And that's how they initially got elected. But but a guy like Chuck Schumer, all he is is a he's a telephone salesman. He's like, who gives me whoever gives me the money, right? You give me the money, and that's who that's that's the way I vote, right? There's no there's, but you got to watch. Let's 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 take a look at, at Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You're gonna love this. Watch this. Jeff, Sarah, the president spoke at length this morning about his vision for a solution to. Uh, dealing with Chinese company ZTE. Both Republicans and Democrats on the Hill are criticizing that, uh, saying that he is bowing to pressure from Beijing. Senator Schumer, I believe, called it a wet noodle solution. What's the White House's response to that criticism? Uh, the U.S. and China relationship has a number of issues that we're constantly having conversations. National security trade, ZTE, is among one of those. And this is something that the president has asked commerce to look into. And he's outlined some possible uh, actions against ZTE by commerce. But at this point, they're still in discussion. Uh, and there's nothing else to add beyond what the president already said this morning. To their criticism, though, about what he has said on Capitol Hill? I, I, like I've said uh, a few times before, Senator Schumer is not somebody this White House is probably ever going to take advice from on how to negotiate or get a good deal on anything, particularly based on his track record. And certainly, uh, I think his weakness when it comes to China. We finally have a president who's actually uh, calling out China on their unfair trade practices and not just calling them out, but actually doing something about it and aggressively pushing forward in negotiations, something that we haven't seen uh, in decades. And so uh, Senator Schumer is probably the last person we would call and ask for on how to make a deal. Anita. So that's the way to talk about it. <laughs> she went right for, the, right for the throat. Senator Schumer is not someone that this White House will ever take advice from on how to negotiate or get a good deal on anything based on his track record. And his weakness when it comes to China. Oh man, fucking pow! You gotta love this. You gotta love the tone there. That's just because Chuck Schumer is like, like I say, he's a stiff. We finally have a president that is actually calling out China on their unfair trade practices, and not just telling them, calling them out, but actually doing something about it. There's some truth to that. Like I said, I think Trump is a is a uh, big stiffy when it comes to what he did with the uh, corporate tax breaks. If he still believes in his heart of hearts that giving tax breaks to corporations that that don't reciprocate and don't trickle down, if he still, if Trump actually still believes in trickle down economics, then he's he's a he's a colossal fool, colossal idiot. But I don't think he does. I think it's more of a. I think it's just. It, it's just it's just what they do. What a billionaire will do is give breaks to other billionaires and and such. What else did he say? And um, will aggressively push forward in negotiations with China. This is Trump. Something we haven't seen in decades. Senator Schumer is probably the last one we would call on to make a deal. <laughs> Fucking Chuck Schumer. Ah, uh, poor Chuck, New York Chuck. So this is the big senator from New York, right? It's gonna, you're gonna, you got Gillibrand running in 2018. I'm running against her. Right? We could knock her out of the box, right? And then in 2020, Chuck Schumer comes up for another six years of nothing, right? He's a jack, jack off, right? But anyway, that's all. I don't want to. I don't have much more to add to that. Uh, but uh, I love uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. I think it's uh, it's. It's raw, and the, the the media, the jerk off media, you know, you got all these, you know, Bob Joe Ca Acosta, or whatever. I don't even know the fucking names, but they're all lined up in the in the front row. Where's the real media? Where's the where's the people? That's all pay for play. Like each seat is, it's like box seats at the 
you know, it's like box seats at the World Series. You know, all the people are locked out, and you got all these rich guys coming in, cornering the market on the media. Ah, so my name is Marcus Conti. I am the uh, YouTube blogger, and uh, that was just for shits and giggles. That was a fun, fun clip by Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And um, you know, again, if you wanna, you want real change in New York. Hey, New York. Hey, New York. You want real change? Vote for Marcus Conti, November sixth. <laughs> Running for the United States Senate. Peace, my friends. Peace out.